everyone, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm using a kit from the Ginger Cat Co. I'm going to leave her link down in the description box. And I thought as it's the first week in April, I would use this kind of rainy days kit. I've also pulled in a couple of rolls of washi as it doesn't come with any bottom washi. So the thinner pink one is from Mambi and then the other kind of teal colour is I believe from the range I've had it for so long I can't remember where I got it from but both of those colours are in the kit so I thought it all went together nicely so I'm going to start off with the washi along the bottom and I put a strip of the mint washi and then I grabbed the thinner one from Mambi and just placed this over the top and then going in day by day so yesterday I had to work so I used a foiled to-do box from Philo Fabulous and just write work down. I also normally get a lift on a Monday with a friend if she's going into work so I just write down that and use one of the heart icons. I blocked off a lot of time with a full box and then I put a half box down as my son had an interview for his work placement and I just put down the time. So straight after work I had to pick him up and after his interview we went food shopping which probably was not the best idea because <laughs> I'd been up literally very early in the morning and I couldn't think when I was shopping and I was just randomly putting things in my trolley so hopefully I can make some meals out of some random stuff that I bought and then when we come home because I was home really late we didn't get home until half eight we didn't even have dinner until super super late because when I got home I then had to cook dinner and then my younger son Harrison also had some homework to do so I just marked that down on my highlighter as always and then moving on to Tuesday I put down a quarter box as I need to film this plan with me and then I wanted to have a little coffee break while the footage was uploading onto my PC so I could edit it and then after that I wanted to print the orders which are now printing actually while I'm doing the voiceover and then edit and voiceover. So I just swapped those two around because it's just how it kind of happened. So yeah, I put my full box down because obviously all that takes a long time. And then I put a quarter box down as I want to upload this plan with me. And then I put a couple of other quarter boxes down because I need to paint a load of paint pots for my daughter to take into college the next day. My son needs to phone a couple of people to thank them for his birthday cards and presents. And I've also got a package due. Whew, that was a lot to say. And then moving on to Wednesday, I started with the thinner washi from Mambi. And then on top of that, I'm going to put a half box that I'm going to flip up onto its side. And that's just to remind me to make sure we pack the flowers and all of the paint pots that we're going to be painting tonight um, in the car. So we don't forget them because that's so me going on the way somewhere that you need to take something. You get halfway there and you're like, oh, I forgot to put them in the car. So I've put that at the top there. So that's the first thing I see tomorrow morning. I also want to put some laundry in before I set off. So um, I've just wrote wipes down because I've got a load of or a whitewash to do. I'm just putting down here that I'm going to be stopping at Starbucks to get myself a nice coffee in the morning after I've dropped them off. And then when I come back, I will have time to do some housework. And then when I leave to go and pick them up, I just wanted to nip into a shop called B&M because I need to go and get some storage and some cleaning supplies and so I thought I would just stop in there because it's kind of on the way and then at the bottom I'm just putting college pickup onto a quarter box. So flipping it over to the second half of the week I want to design first thing in the morning and I'm just going to put a full box down to cover or to block off a load of the time and I've also got another package due so I've put that on a quarter box and used a happy poppet not a happy puppet, a happy male puppet. My cat needs to go to the vet because he hasn't been really well. He's been just really poorly. So I just want to take him to give him a check over. Hopefully it's nothing serious and it's just his age or something. But I just want to go and give him like a little, a little cat MOT, you know, a little once over just to put my mind at rest. So I'm going to be doing that Thursday, even though he hates the vets. And then for Friday, I put another one of the to-do foiled boxes from Fido Fabulous. And I also need to remember to take in a yellow card to work. So I've just put down a little heart icon so I can write that down. And hopefully the plan is I won't forget, but we'll see. We'll see. Now, I made a mistake. So last week when I was saying I was having a new release, I showed you these parent weekend stickers. And then I actually uploaded something completely different on Friday. So last week, I actually released these Sleepy Time Poppets, which are adorable. I really, really love them. 
Um, but I did show you and tell you I was uploading the Parent Weekend stickers. I don't really know what happened. I, I've confused myself. But yeah, so these ones are already up in the shop. And then this week I'm going to be releasing the Parent Weekend stickers that I showed you last week. I'm so sorry for the confusion. I don't know how that happened. It just, it happened. And then I messaged my puppet squad saying, um, I think I might have messed up, but it's okay. So I put down a Dad's Weekend sticker to remind myself that it is that. But then I had to use one of the Sleepy Time Poppets because the drooling one is my complete favourite. I needed another quarter box and there wasn't another one in the kit. So I took this build you sticker and kind of trimmed off the writing and then stuck that down and used it as a quarter box to mark that I needed to do a food shop. I'm definitely doing it online. So moving on to the weekend, I was going to put my weekend banner down and then as it's a really thin banner, I wanted to try it at the top and it kind of chucks off a little bit the bottom of the six, but it looks really nice up there. So I think if I have any thin ones, I'm definitely going to try and put them up there again because it frees up all of the boxes actually on Saturday and Sunday. So for Saturday, my partner is going to be working. So I just marked that down with a heart icon. I then created a little to-do list that I want to get done Saturday morning. And then later on in the evening, I want to do some printing and cutting. So I just put some of the Mambi Washi down and then another half box that I flipped up onto its side to write down print and cut. And then the last thing that I want to do on Saturday is to wash the uniforms and I'm going to put down a little headache puppet because washing uniforms is just a headache. But I know if I get it done now, I haven't got to worry about that throughout the whole Easter half term. For Sunday, I will have my food shop delivery. And then I want my children to get some of their homework done out the way. I also want to do some baking, probably with the children. So I just use one of the larger floral puppets and write down bake. And then later on, I want to film next week's plan with me. So I put that on a half box. And then I use one of the Poppet Cove stickers that says Poppet Loves Planning. Then we need to go to the library. I kind of messed up the writing on the quarter box, so which was such a shame because that quarter box actually had a stack of books on, so it was kind of perfect. But I messed up the B, so I had to replace it with a plain quarter box. And then moving over to the sidebar, I used the quote box at the top that says no rain, no flowers. And then I used two habit trackers and I did split it up with the washi and I used the mint green because I felt like the thinner pink washi would have been too much pink in one area. So I just split it up with the mint green washi. And then I created a next week section with a smaller quarter box and a three heart checklist. And then to fill up the gap at the bottom, I'm using a half box and I'm also going to be putting some of the thinner washi not behind it but just like above it and below it i was really in the mood for deco this week i think because i was talking about it last week and there's literally zero deco in the kit so i decided to take some of the heart checklists and trim them into single hearts and just use those as deco at the top i know it's clutching at straws leave me alone i just wanted to place deco down so probably or whatever kit that i use next week expect to see deco and once i've placed those down that's it for this week's spread i haven't really got many stickers left over which is really nice i have used um the ginger cat co stickers before i really love her shop so definitely go and check out that i will make sure i leave the link in the description box if you enjoyed this week's plan with me then make sure you give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe and as always i hope you are having a lovely week so far and i will speak to you all next time bye guys